Destiny even came out, actually. Or <laughs> well, really? the first game. Yeah, yeah. So, like, I was, like, I was already in the loop of I want to be competitive this game but before uh, Splatoon came out and stuff. So you've, 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 you've just been in everything. That, that's, that's insane. Also, yeah. uh, I, I apologize. I, I, uh, while we have been streaming, I haven't recorded. I, I hadn't been recording this bit for a little bit. Sorry, I completely just slipped my mind to press the record button. That might be important. But uh, mm -hmm. to reintroduce everyone who's watching this uh, not live and watching this as a video later on, I'm Failboat. This is Dude, like one of the absolute best Splatoon players, period. That's why I pointed to my left. He's not actually physically here. I'm just, <laughs> I might have just been like referencing where the microphone is or something like that. But uh, he's here to, to play some Splatoon 1 with me. And we're going we're gonna to see what we can do here. If we can actually find players to play with. I have no idea if we'll actually end up even finding anybody. In which case, yeah. I mean, we'll be like pretty high up in the league boards at least. Yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure if uh, squad battles is going to be much populated, but, like, I guess the next best thing would be the Tower 4 private battle. Ranked is populated, but it's, you can't play it that with three it, people, of course, so. It's crazy to me that, like, we it's now at that point in Splatoon where just no one's playing it. Like, like, yeah. like no one is playing this game at all, which is, just, I don't know, that's, like, surprising to me that no one would, would be looking for twins right now. Like, cause like, yeah, you know, some people just don't have switches, but they still have Wii U's, cause like their parents never got it to them, so they still play Splatoon. We oh, we got a couple people. Oh, we got a couple, just two more. <laughs> the only, only actual people in the guys. I mean, people in chat, if you guys want to hop in, <laughs> like like we don't we don't even need to create a private lobby. We can just like use the game's actual servers. Exactly. <laughs> as our own private lobby. <laughs> people don't people pro don't play the game right now. Probably God. find people this way as well. And so, so what were the weapons yeah. you've played throughout the history of Splatoon 1? What were your main weapons? Uh, the Cherry H3, the 96 Cal, the Splash of Pro, and the Splush Medic, I think. Hmm, good stuff. How about some Those weapons like that you- four. What weapons do you think you're gonna be- you, you'd want to be brought over to, uh, Splatoon 2? I mean, they all kind of are, but I guess they they all play different since all the specials are different. So it's uh, it's it's hard to tell. Like I, mean, I'm not really too sure. Like I think uh, what I would like the most, if that they buffed the Splash Up Pro how it was in this game, because like on this in Splatoon One, it was so much better because it had like it had longer range than that. Hmm. So I wish that was a thing still, but. Just maybe in due time. Yeah, I know. Like, I remember when when wait, when this game came out, or, or before this game came out. Oh my god! But like the first time I saw this game, it just like I became such a big like fan of the world of Splatoon. Like everything about. It. I made a. Yeah, I, I used to make like pixel art animations. I made like a okay. three minute animation, just all based around Splatoon before it even came out, and like I had it ready for release and everything, and I played. It, I'm like ah, I just can't get I, I don't understand the gamepad like now i do mm -hmm. i like, like now it's a lot simpler to me i, I, I kind of make sense of it but like at the time i just was so bad at understanding how to play the game i just i don't know i'm, I'm, I'm disappointed i never gave it some more time yeah it's, it's definitely a fun game like i guess uh the major turn off of it is that <laughs> the gamepad is like a kind of big clunky controller that you just that just kind of weighs your hands down and it's just it kind of feels awkward like i mean when i turned the game on just today it was like wow <laughs> i didn't realize how big this thing actually was and you know it's it's, it's def definitely something that's really good when you get used to it i i personally I, I really miss squid jump like I, oh yeah <laughs> i always forget that, that that there's just like a mode on, on the handheld thing that i god i wish that i wish that they i wish that they even had the um the music thing in splatoon 2 i wish they just put that on um on the main screen. All right, here. Let's 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 try this. Let's okay. go into like. Is there like a, can we just like try regular battle, and then you might be able yeah. to like join in on me. So it, so basically, yeah, you just join regular battle, and I'll join off as you. Or join right, off here, yeah, I'll I'll add some people in chat, and we'll see if we can get uh. Let's see, actually, here I think uh my friend my friend code is Fieldboat YT. Was it Fieldboat 103 or Fieldboat YT? Do you remember when you accepted it? Uh, I can check actually. Okay. Because I remember I, I created a, an account on, on 
the Wii U of, of a friend I had. And, whoa, Flounder Heights. Oh, okay. wow. I haven't seen this map in, in a very long time. Okay. So your friend code is failboat103. 103. One okay, you guys got him. So add, add failboat103, and then, uh, then we'll get going. Wow, this is... Oh, boy. This is something. Um... So vertical flicks, or for horizontal, or uh, yeah, yeah, vertical, vert vertical flicks are dead. There's yeah. No, there's no such thing as those. They didn't uh, exist. It's that's this is prehistoric times right now. Right. I'm actually like kind of mad that there's no like subline. It's like like no one yeah. I can like, no one I can throw out, like things. That's ex it's like it wasn't until I, I I played this recently that I'm like wow, Splatoon 2 did a lot of good things. Like mm -hmm. not everything was perfect, but man, all the Kraken. I can't explode with this one. You gotta just kill. Oh, it doesn't last for very long either. Also, like, like, like damage up. I forgot about that. Yep. The thing that makes charges OP. <laughs> God. So I, I mean, I imagine you have like your full set of uh, of damage up and everything. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Like, God. you're kind of. You can use damage up on any weapon, and it makes it like so much stronger than it needs to be. <laughs> is there any other like spe any other like abilities that can even compete, or is it just all? All that. Actually, uh, like quick respawn is really good in yeah, this game. Yeah, quick respawn stealth jump was like literally the meta. Like huh. it was just you had to. It was, it was a thing in competitive that you had to run it, otherwise it's not gonna. You're not gonna do enough because it's like quick respawn in this game doesn't work the same as Splatoon 2. It's just like if you die with quick respawn, you always respawn much faster, regardless of like I guess the. Uh, Killing penalties and that. Yeah, but this game doesn't like. It definitely looks strange, but I man, like I don't know. I look at this and like, I, I just remember so much. Like I remember, cause I remember. Um, God, me and me and some of my moderators, um, were talking about perform like forming like a Splatoon team way back when, and God, I I would still be down. Like I would love to create some sort of uh. Some sort of solid like split. Oh, wings are gone. <laughs> right, haven't had to deal with one of those in a while. <laughs> um, I would love to get some sort of a uh, Splatoon 2 team formulated from uh, from some of the viewer base here and get that going. Oh, so how, how do you like kill? Oh, you do it like, like, like a jump attack. Oh, never mind. there we go. Classic turf war too. Actually, so what I don't like, and I'm not sure how how. Actually, what are your thoughts on this? So, so the map, the map on screen versus the map in your hands. Which do you prefer? Uh, I actually prefer the map on screen. You know. Yeah. I guess I like. I, I remember like when people like first saw it, where you had to press a button to show the map, and people were just like, "Oh, no, it's not like the one on the gamepad." And the gamepad is so much better. But it's just <laughs> like, honestly, like. I like it that I don't have to always look down and then look up and then look down and look up. It's just, I can just have this map on the screen when I need, you know? I feel it makes, like, map peeking, like, a lot easier. Mm-hmm. Because you can just, like, tap once, tap, like, tap again kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. I also don't think I've seen any hackers in Splatoon 1 yet. Which... Yet. Yeah, ex exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yet. I know I'm sort of, uh, you know, I, I know that, that that's going to probably change, but, um... Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. Level 50 cap, huh? Yeah, this, this, this is as high as you can go. I'm, I'm glad that they raised that to like a whole, like 200. Because I remember like when the when the um the level up things like didn't matter. I was just max rank and I was kind of mad because I would like play against other like uh I think it was level 50 in Splatoon 2, uh before they mm -hmm. raised it again. But I would play against other like level 50s and I'm like, well. I have no idea if you're an actual god or if you, if you just sort of freshly hit that. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, no, it's a... Uh, I appreciate what they've done with the game. They're just doing so much with it. I mean, we got, like, an update coming tonight or tomorrow? We do? For Splatoon 2? Yeah. Um, I thought it was the one that did, uh... The new Starfish main Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, it also has, like, the new, new weapons or something, right? Oh yeah, there are supposed to be new weapons. Okay, I'm so out of the loop. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Splatoon JP. What do you have for me? Like, I'm not sure if like, they've revealed the weapons or not, but I thought people were talking about it coming tonight. I, I, could, I could be off. 
Yeah, there should be weapons tonight, but I guess there's, I mean, it's not shown on the Twitter right now, so. Hmm. Oh my god, I forgot this. I forgot this song. God. Yeah, that's right, I miss all the music, too. God. I really hope they bring, bring, bring all this back. Mm hmm Oh, well. What? There goes Alicia. God. It's just nice. Oh god. Some people, are, some people are AFK. Some people are just on your team. No, no, it's the people on the enemy team. They're just like standing, oh. <laughs> looking at a beacon, just marveling it, wondering why they don't have a switch yet. <laughs> oh, you're on the enemy team. Yeah, I'm on the enemy team. Oh, okay. I was you're like looking like huh. I, don't, I don't see, I don't see where dude is anywhere. Huh. So I guess it is on uh, on the enemy team. Dude. Yeah, the guy with the guy with beacons. He's just sort of. Uh, <laughs> I'm not even gonna bother him. He's having a fun time. <laughs> Ooh, God. Custom well, this 3K. Don't see that often. I've never seen a 3K. God. It's crazy, man. The killer whale, that's the classic. I feel like I'm getting like so much nostalgia just playing this. It's like really strange. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy so much. This guy on your team that, that, that literally just makes, um, they make two beacons and then stare at them. Oh, nice. <laughs> I found where you are. I'm just like chilling at the top. I'm not doing anything. Oh, never mind. But can you like not slip in the Oh, that, that's also another funny thing about Kraken is that, uh, if you, what's it called? You can add swim speed to it, and he makes your Kraken faster. Oh, wow. That seems really good. Yeah, it's, it's, it's too good. That seems really good. Huh. So what were we like, okay, so in the very, very beginning of Splatoon 1, mm -hmm. what was the earliest, like, like, what was the earliest broken weapon? The earliest broken strategy? Uh, it was the 96 cal. Like, I think, uh... For some reason, it did like 68 damage per hit, or 62 damage, or like a bunch of damage per hit. Yep. And it was like, there's a, another part called defense up in this game where it does it, it really did not matter how much damage uh, up you put on the 96 scale, it would always do two hits. With, yeah. Uh, it doesn't really matter about fall off damage. It'll just two hit everything. Yeah. And it's like RNG was like really good as well. Even though it was, it, I guess they say it was less accurate, but it was, uh, what's it called? Hmm? It was, it would hit a bunch of shots, I guess. So, huh. basically 96 kills. Stupid draw. God. How about something like you what, what was your favorite time in, in, in Splatoon? Like, your favorite meta, your favorite, like, uh, time to be playing the game? I'd say around the early times or two, as well. Since, I mean, I, I mean, I, I Technically main the 96, so I was like, you know, even though it was broken, I was having fun. <laughs> but I oh guess around God. that time, because it's like, I guess QR in, I guess QR in this current day is just like, oh please, because <laughs> there's so much pressure over it. So, all right, uh, I'm going to accept some people. Okay. Oh, let me see here, friend request. Can I accept people from like within the game, please? Maybe. Yeah, you can press home and then you just scroll down. Okay, perfect. Post. I know it's like there sometimes it's like you can't do that. You have 32 friend requests. Okay, yeah, here we go. Uh, I guess there's people that we've, we've reused them. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, we can see what we can get, who we can get from here. Um, can I just like aim ash? I'm not sure. Oh, Ender. Ender, Ender wanted to be added. I got you, Ender. Uh, so if I can aim ash, I can just like. Start with one, just. Oh. Go to profile. Oh god, Meverse. Oh yeah. I think that's not a thing anymore, though. Nope. Dead. Okay, okay. I miss it. Yeah, same. There's a lot of good posts on that. Oh yeah. I, like, I wish there were like easier ways to draw nowadays. Because yeah. I like, all the all the ink Inkopolis posts things. There's no good name for them either. But all all of them are just like. Plus, add going, uh, you know, uh, going on vacation. Add Discord. Uh, it, it's just like like lazy writing. Mm. There are some like Goldie is is like a godsend with a stylus or whatever, or however she draws it. But like, they're just I don't know. 
this is not the same quality. No, it's good, yeah. Oh, well, I mean, I, I wish it was just more easily accessible too. Just, to, uh, I guess, see all of them too. Yep. Whoops. <laughs> Almost just denied this guy. <laughs> oh, God. 12 hour stream, though. You ever, what, What's the longest you've ever streamed for? Uh, about eight hours. I, I, I can't. <laughs> 12 hours, that's pushing my limits right there. Yeah, I. I. Before I ever did a 12 hour, I was like, you know what? Mm -hmm. I could do it. Let me try a 24 hour live stream. Oh, God. It was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. It was good. It was like going really good for like the first twelve hours. I was mm -hmm. I was actually keeping pace with myself. I was drinking water, you know. I was I was good, mm -hmm. and then the thirteenth hour hit, and everything from there to the twenty fourth hour just got exponentially tougher. Like, oh. up like I'd say like hour, like seventeen or something when it was when it was like five a.m. my time. Mm -hmm was really tough because my voice was dying it was really it was, it was like in pain um and i was tired and i'm like i also know i have like another six hours to go it was oh my god it uh, was it was something i can't even like fandom of how, how do i even explain like i can't even like figure out in my brain to like think okay i've done this many hours of streaming, but I gotta do another six. <laughs> that's not, that's not that's 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 a long time. Oh God, so. it, like, it, it's fun though because like, what what I do is I mean I try and, and sort out like a good amount of games to play. I have mm -hmm. no, I, I've guests on. Um, I I have uh, a lot of games I know some people have been looking forward to for a while. I mean, mm -hmm. are you aware of Cold Eggman? Is it Cold Eggman? I've heard the name before. They are a Twitch streamer that do straight up 24 hour Splatfest streams every time. Oh, it's, Jesus. I don't think he's missed one. Like every time, I, I every Splatfest, I, I go check it. Just like, is he still, is he doing it? And he is. 24 oh, hours. He sounds dead. Because that isn't <laughs> just like playing an interesting game for 24 hours. That isn't just like, you know, rotating out various games. He's just straight up playing Turf War. For 24 hours. Non-stop for 24 hours. Non like, I'm, I'm fairly confident he's 99 star, if only just because, you know. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, big up to him, because, like, I don't know anyone who can, who's, who's able to do that. Like, I think I would, like, want to quit the game after. <laughs> yep. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm heading back in the game. I, I added a, a fair amount of people. Here, I'm gonna okay. we're gonna do like a private battle. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna just gonna like tell you the code. And yep. then I'm sure they'll see me actually type it in. Alright. Okay, okay. So the code will be uh 3334. 3334. Perfect. Alright. And you should just be able to hop in. Cool. God. Well so what's like the most changed mode? Like tower control has like like uh checkpoints now mm -hmm. rainmaker i don't think changed at all right Rainmaker, i guess the concept of rainmaker didn't change but the rainmaker weapon's different like the... oh that's right it shoots like a, it, shoot, yeah. it used to shoot a blast yeah it should, in Splatoon one it's like a massive tornado that you shoot and splat so... zones splat zones is the exact same oh yeah uh... nothing's changed with that let's do I'm trying, to, trying to look at some some map hammerhead bridge i have not seen this map since i may have Forever. never seen this map <laughs> I have nah, no this is idea. a good map this is basically like uh shellendorf but huh. i mean I, I think it's a better version of shellendorf so let's see all right well what weapon am i am i using here uh i'm gonna use i'm gonna use the junior my favorite from splatoon 2. I see all these weapons that everyone's picking, but I have no idea what <laughs> <laughs> what southern special they have. So. Oh god, there's like a the secondary Luna. So okay, I used to joke about it a lot. The Luna Blaster. Like, how bad mm -hmm. actually was it? Really bad. Really bad. Oh, I guess bad is being really good in this game. <laughs> yeah. Okay, actually, so is the arrow spray actually good in this game? N no. Okay. Unfortunately not. Yeah, I, re I remember. I have a very, very faint but angry, salty memory 
uh, when I was like first playing this game of dying to an arrow spray over and over again and thinking <laughs> it was the most busted weapon. Because I was like, what's the point of, of even playing the game if you, if you, you know, you're locked behind this best weapon that you only get when you beat the game or something is what I thought <laughs> at the time. God. Yeah, oh. The air spray. The, yeah, I would like to say it's the worst, but it depends on how you use it too. But it's it's not it's. I guess it's the it's kind of the same with how it is in Splatoon too. It's not really not really that good, not really that bad, but you know. Yeah, I remember. Um. Oh, what was it like? In Splatoon 2, I used to play like a lot of the Golden Air Spray before it got um before it got popular. Like I was mm -hmm. using the 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 baller every three seconds strategy before uh, mm -hmm. before I was made aware of its of its power. Okay. It was. God, why is it impacting the leg? Oof. Oh my god, I forgot how good the HP is in this game too. Let's see. That's right. I can't press X. Oh yeah, that's the thing. I get into the habit of looking down here. X is jump. I, I actually, I mean, that works out well. Also, this is a very nice color ink. When is this gonna come back? This like light purple I have here. Light oh. purple. Or at least on our team here. Oh, okay. Ah! Yeah! Uh, nice one. <laughs> there we go. I'm on the boards here. Oh, hello there! God, I love the splat bomb. I somehow got that. I I I love the splat bomb so much. Like, mm -hmm. I I, what was it? I was playing a little bit of the single player because I wanted to like try and learn how to speed run it a little bit. Because I was like, mm -hmm. uh, I I I don't always have the console online, and I mm -hmm. already did uh, I did um a thousand percent, um because I take a like a lot of long train rides, and yeah, so yeah. I was like, you know what? Let me learn how to like speed run though, like the, off, like the first two worlds. Um, I got I got done the first world, like the one with like only like, mm -hmm. four levels, and I'm like, wait a minute, the splat bomb is really fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? Let me let me let me bring the, these skills into competitive. And I was like, doing way better than before. I was just like throwing splat bombs like exactly where people were gonna be. I was like, yeah, this is this is a good what this is a good sub. Yeah, sub up uh, splat bomb definitely in a. Uh... Team 2 is uh, one of those sub weapons that's really, really fun. Plus, now you get like with the junior, you know, you can get like four at once. Oh, yeah. It's like, I mean, it depends on how much uh, ink saver sub you use, but it's so much fun. Well, because you can Just... do like the, uh, if you have, I think it's two mains or like one pure uh, mm -hmm. sub saver, and. You can throw two splat bombs, activate ink armor, and just throw another two splat bombs. Yeah, it's it's like a how do I describe it? It's like two specials in one. Oh yeah, because you like the bomber and special. the armor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry. No, 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 it's all good. God, our team is uh, it's doing okay. Blast the thing that keeps throwing me off is like, like it's. There's squids on top, but there's no weapon to show which one it is. So it's just like, I, oh, I, I, yeah. I take someone out, but I can't tell who's still up. That was a pretty good change. Wait, yeah. what, what are some other, like, good changes from this in Splatoon 2? Say what? Wait, like, what else did Splatoon 2 different here? Splatoon 2 uh, different. It was that. Uh, it was... The ink. The ink is a lot... There's a lot more detail in the ink, I guess. So you can kind of tell where people are swimming around. Oh yeah, it's also like, yeah, you're right. Oh my god, it's it's, it's like it's extremely flat. I should forget yeah. how like, ooh, the ink strike. I forgot about that one entirely. I also forgot that this the the the, the armor special I have here, the little the mm -hmm. little bubble. Uh, it's not based on HP. It's just a straight up timer. Yep. So I can't like whittle it down. I just have to like accept that like I cannot do anything against them for a while on like ink armor. Yeah, it's like, it's basically a panic button, so it's like, if uh, you have a full threatened, you can literally just bubble yourself, or you can bubble around your teammates, so they just, you know, they're just invincible for a bit. Yeah, it does, it hits the entire team. Oh, oh no, it's Oh! It almost got me. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot this is it. I'm on great here. Oh, oh God. <laughs> the Ink Zuka, that's right. It's been so long. I remember when uh, the Ink Zuka used to be. It, it used to have no frames uh, whenever you activate it. So it was like an instant Ink Zuka. Well, now it's. Well, I guess in. I guess the later patches it was. Uh, Huh. The thing where you, it it takes a bit for you to shoot it now. Oh my god, we almost ran that at the time. We did okay. Thank you, my team. Oh yeah, I missed splat attack too. I saw someone in chat saying uh that they missed splat attack. I think that was like one of the amiibo uh, mini games. Oh, I'm yeah, not too sure. I I never I don't I, I've never had an amiibo amiibo before, so. You don't have any amiibo? Nope. Huh? They're actually. I mean, uh, I bought, um, uh, for like $15, you can get like every Splatoon amiibo in like a card form. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. I, I can show one up to my webcam here. Uh, because I, I, like, I love it because I can like save, um, all my like profiles and stuff on it. Mm hmm And, uh, switch between like Inkling and Octoling really easily. So that way, like, like mid, mid thing, I can just switch between my two characters there. Um, let's do, let's try a Rainmaker, see how that See how that looks. Uh, Anchovy Games. Mahi Mahi Resort. We're, we're, wow, we actually almost have all the Splatoon 1 maps. Yeah, it's, uh, we don't have Salt Spray, Mahi Mahi, Hammerhead. Uh, what's that called? Flounder Heights, I think. Hmm? I think those are the only four we don't have, actually. That's actually, that's pretty good. The devs of, the devs of Splatoon just do so much. Yeah. They, they definitely listen a lot for what I guess the people want, especially when it comes to what's too strong in the game, you know? Yeah. Yeah, the, the whole balancing has actually been like, pretty good from what I, at least from what I can tell. Yeah. Like, there are weapons that definitely shine above all else, but I don't think there's anything, at least currently, that, that's extremely, you know, needs attention right now. Yeah, there's nothing. I don't think there's any weapon like that at this point. It's like. Everything right now in terms of weapon balancing is all just in a really good place. Oh my god, I'm looking at this map. I'm having some sort of flashbacks with this map. <laughs> I haven't seen this map in so long. I'm trying to remember like... Oh my god. <laughs> I barely, this is definitely a map. I barely remember this, but I, I have some... I don't think, because I'm like... I, first, okay, I look at this map, and the first thing I, I remember is like, I, th I thought I was like streaming it. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I remember this map. Oh wow, that, that that just creative kills. I forgot it, it is a. There's no there's no time before that kills you. It just it just straight shoots a tornado. But, yeah, it's um, completely instant. I try to remember if I ever streamed this game because I'm having like memories as if I was if I, as if I had streamed it or something. Mm -hmm. Huh. Oh god. Stuck back there. Oh, yeah, I was fine. Yeah. <laughs> I was looking for you on the side. I just love how in Splatoon 2, like, oh jeez. I love how in Splatoon 2, you have all these options of like gear, or not mm -hmm. all these options of gear, but like um, if you have like like, like, like with Splatnet, um, yeah. You know, if you have a gear you really like, but it's like not a good ability, you can still mm -hmm. get that ability on it, unless it's like one yeah. of the like, uh, unique abilities. Yeah, it was a lot more. Uh, What's it called? I guess it, it was a lot more. I mean, in Splatoon One, I think it was a lot more random, but it was still the thing where, like, if you, you can literally just order people's gear on, uh, off the game, and then get. It, well, wasn't get it, the it still same. always like one gear always had one ability, and you can never get any other ability on it? Kind of a th or like, like, like. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That was the case. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, just like the idea of um. Uh. If you wanted the pilot goggles, but mm -hmm. you wanted the pilot goggles with strength up instead of like yeah. bomb defense or whatever it has, um, you would never be able to have that because you can never like change it. It'll always yeah. be that. Yeah, it was uh, like each piece of gear was uh, it was only one. Well, it could only be about one. So. Yep. Yeah, no, that, that's that's why I love uh, love everything okay, with. Uh, whoa, boy. That's oh, too much. I also don't like how I can't see assists. I like seeing my assists when I can get them. Oh, 
I'm actually, I am happy I'm actually able to like play the game now. Because mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm able to aim decently. Oh, I'm just fine. Oops. Yeah, that, that, that's the big thing about this game too, is that you can straight up, re like you'll straight up realize the motion controls is like, uh, much more responsive than Splatoon 2, until I guess they fix that issue. That's like the only issue I have with Splatoon 2, is that it's like a few MS latent, I guess? Huh. Yeah, I mean, it definitely does feel re like really good. Yeah. Oh god. I'm also like one of the only people in the entire world who uses like separated Joy-Cons as my controller. Oh, yeah. Like, absolutely. I don't understand why. Is, is that like a latency thing or is that like what? Oh, let's go. Wait, separate joy cons for... for... For controllers in Splatoon 2. I'm not too sure, no. I'm not, I don't know. Because I was... remember some people, like, like there's some people with like strong opinions as to like... Uh... Like, you know, why would you ever use like separate, separate joy cons? But I oh. mean... Like I, I like I, I, I just like it because it feels like I feel it feels like mouse and keyboard in the weirdest way. Like if okay. like, like the right Joy-Con just feels like a mouse. Like I, I, I played a lot of um uh, Overwatch and TF2, and so okay. I've like done yeah I'm used to like doing like flick shots and stuff now and again. Mm -hmm. And when I play Chargers in Splatoon 2, I can still get like general flick shot stuff because I remember like it, it's like the same motion. I don't have to okay. change too much. Yeah, I think like the the main reason why people don't really, I guess, use uh, separate Joy Cons is because like I feel like it's just people find it a lot harder to control. I mean, some people can crack it, but I mean, personally, me, I I, I I can't control it that that way. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's just like uh, I've just found found a little bit of love for that. Oh my god, that was cool. Yeah. And you still <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Comes up over the cliff. <laughs> God. This game is well. Plus, I, I was so I I recently was streaming some of this some of this game, um, to play some of the uh, the multiplayer and then also some of these mm -hmm. uh, some of the single player. And oh my God, well, rip. <laughs> uh, I remember uh, having such difficulty with like the final boss with mm -hmm. uh, DJ Octavio. And I'm like, you know what? I'm, I'm, you know, I'm pretty good with Splatoon 2 now. I've fought DJ Octavio so many times, you know. Let, let's see how he is now. He's still pretty tough. Mm -hmm. Like, ha like the, the not having armor thing, I actually really like it. Because I feel in Splatoon 2, it's just like... It's, it, it's so forgiving with the armor system. Where if you, mm -hmm. you know, you, you take one hit, you just wait, you don't do anything, and then yeah. you're back in action again. Like, yeah, I, 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 think... I guess it, like, teaches good, like, safety tips, but at the same time, I don't know, I'm just not a big fan of it. Yeah, I mean, armor in Splatoon 2 is, uh, it's a little, it's, it's hard to describe, like, it's, it's, in some cases it's, it can be good, but in some cases it's also, like, it's it's super annoying to deal with, I guess, because it's just like. I mean this. I mean the the Splatoon one, uh, passive armor kind of a thing. Or not that Splatoon one. Uh, the the story mode. The 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 passive. Oh, story. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm still talking about the, <laughs> the story mode. Oh yeah. Yeah. I just feel like I'm the, game to... is, the yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in like Splatoon one, there's mm -hmm. no there there's no passive armor. Okay. Oh my God! I am getting. Oh wow! I remember this map really well. Yeah, this, this what's it called? The zones on only one side this time. That's so weird. Okay. Yeah. So like, like, like seeing this map, it, it feels like a completely different game. Like, they, like I have not seen this map in so long. I want this map to come back. Oh my god, please. Would be nice. It's definitely like uh, this one's actually, I guess. Some people would say a charge is paradise because it's just like uh, you can climb up to the wall. It's, it takes a bit for people to climb up to the wall, and it's just a lot of good sniping spots and stuff like that. Ah. I would like to come, see this come back though. 
Yeah, I just want I just want every map to come back to, <laughs> to some guy. <laughs> I, I just want Splatoon just to be perfect. I, I want every yeah. every possible every possible variation of every map. Every map probably will come back besides Salt Spray, since like I guess Salt Spray was like one of the most uh, unfair in a way, because it wasn't it, it wasn't symmetrical. I mean, it's like kind of like this map, but uh, Salt Spray was not unsymmetrical in a in a worse kind of way. Weird. I'd see like oh my god, we didn't get that zone. Gee, no, we could. I'm <laughs> um. Yeah, I think people were talking for a while about uh, having Salt Spray as, a, as potentially a uh, like a Salmon Run map. Yeah, I suggested that, actually. It was oh, like, there you go. Yeah, I, I thought it would be pretty cool. Like, it was just... Because uh, if, if they're going to bring all the maps back, and they want to bring all the maps back and make it fair, then it just makes it, it just makes more sense if it was like a, a Salmon Run map. Like, just like add like a dark theme to it or something like that. Yep, yep. Yeah, I think that'll be good. Cool. I'm gonna back out and see if I can get some other some other people in here. Okay. Give a, give some other people who I who I friended an opportunity to hop in. Let's do let's do a few more games and then uh then I'm gonna be hopping over to my next game. Cool. Oh, I got Pokemon coming up next. Then have you ever heard of the, the of the game Slime Rancher? No. Uh, no, no, no. it's it's <laughs> yeah it's a uh a PC game. Based around um, calling it a farming game is, is a is a bad description, but um, <laughs> okay. it, it, it's not completely off because you're pretty much just going around this world, vacuuming up these cute little slime creatures, and uh, okay. and and bringing them back to your to your uh, your farm, and raising them and collecting their like resources and stuff. It, it's such a great time sink game. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I, I just, I just remade the party, without uh, giving yes. you a password. One second here. It's already full. <laughs> yeah, hold on. All right, all right. I'm making a new room. Password is all gonna right. be all eights. Okay, okay. There you go. What games do you I play like... outside of Splatoon, if any? Uh, I play a bit of Pokemon. I play Quake quite a bit. It's a what's it called? That arena shooter on yeah. PC. That's yeah, like yeah. Bethesda. Um, I, haven't, I I never played the new Quake. It's really good. Oh, I think it's really good. Mm -hmm. I guess some may be like Quake Live was probably the best one, or uh -oh. Quake Three was probably the best. But uh, you were not able to get in. Hold on, I'm gonna. Damn. Try it <laughs> All right, I'm gonna. I'm gonna be quicker at this one. All right, quickly while while they're while they're distracted, I'll eat again. Okay. Try that again. But um, if it doesn't work again, we'll just. I'll just like tell you the password ahead of time. Okay. Um. Let's see. What's your favorite Pokemon? Excuse me. What's your favorite uh, Pokemon then? Uh, favorite Pokemon? I'd say Rotom Wash. Oh, Rotom Wash. Huh. Yeah. You, ever, you ever play any like actually uh competitive Pokemon? A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Like huh? I, I I dipped my feet into it. Like. I, yep. s I grinded for uh, like to make my first team, and then I think that was pretty much that was pretty much the end of my career right there. Like, <laughs> I got to my it, I, I, I guess the tedious thing was just like making teams and all that type of stuff on your just all yeah. the time. It's it's a little bit tedious, but other than that, I mean, I made like a really really defensive team. I think. I remember. Oh, oh god, I I also dipped my feet in competitive Pokemon for a little bit. Because, mm -hmm. uh, you ever heard of Pokemon Showdown? Is that the yeah. one? Is that the one? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Um, I did that for a bit, and it was a... Also, I don't think we have this map in, in Splatoon 2, but, um, that was a very fun map, or a very fun map. Uh, it, it was a very fun time, because I was able mm -hmm. to try out some Pokemon that I... I never really uh pokemon showdown was just useful because it gave me those opportunities to be like okay what's what would this perfect pokemon be like you know and mm -hmm. let me build it exactly correctly and redo all my numbers if i don't like it that way i can you know i'm not bound to to just this pokemon forever because i messed up one time with the ivs or something like yeah. it's, it's such a grind to get the like the perfect pokemon and i think pokemon is realizing that because they've started to make 
a lot easier ways of people to like EV train and IV. It, apparently now you can change IVs and stuff. Yeah. So I'm not yeah, where that's going. I used to play Showdown as well. Like I definitely used to. I used to play with my friends in that, and yep. I definitely liked that. It was just much easier. It's just like, okay, you want to build this team? You can do it right now instead yep. of having to wait. So do you make like you have like pre-made teams, like random teams? Yeah, like, that too. I, I I love doing like like the mono training team things because mm -hmm. I would do um I would do either like mono bug or mono fairy. Um, okay. And get teams based on that, but uh, I mean, so what do you think about the new uh, the new Pokemon game that's gonna be coming out soon enough? I'm I'm interested. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot it's a lot different to what I'm used to, but like, I don't know about it yet. No, like I think the catching system. I'm not too sure. But I, I don't really have an opinion about the casting system because it's. A, I mean, it's like Pokemon Go, and I like Pokemon Go's casting system. And it's just, it's just a thing. Like, would it work for a game where you're primarily just gonna go around to do gym battles and then complete the story and all that? You know? Yeah. No, so, I, I I agree. Like it's. Uh, it it looks. If they okay, this is why I think the saving grace of it is. Mm -hmm. They said that this was not their mainstay Pokemon game on the Switch. They, they yeah, said, yeah. They said, like, don't worry. This isn't the the big Pokemon 2019 thing. We still have another one in the works. Have have no worries on that. This is, this is one to capture that audience that came through Pokemon Go. Mm -hmm. And, like, you know, the people who only know the original 150... The people who only know the, po the Pokemon Go catching mechanics because they haven't played a Pokemon game in like 15 years. Like, mm -hmm. this game is just sort of taking that and being like, hey, don't leave. <laughs> we, have a, <laughs> we, have a, we have a new Pokemon game coming out, and here's how you can get into it because now this teaches you traditional battling without getting rid of the old cap, the, 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 the Pokemon Go capture system. Mm. So, at least that, that, that's how I take it. They're slowly huh. whittling people into like the main, the main thing. Yeah, I understand that. I think it's, it's it's actually not a bad move by Nintendo. I think it's just oh, like yeah. if you, you kind of make up two types, two different types of uh, games for like both audiences. So like, it's kind of just grabbing both of them at the same time, I guess. Yep. And then we have the oh god, what is it? Pokemon. Uh, the one that's currently out. What's um? It's like it's like oh. the the weird one that auto plays. It, everyone, uh, all the Pokemon look like blocks or something. Chat, oh, you guys know what I'm talking Switch. about. I, I forgot I remember though. I, I've never actually played that one myself. Uh, it, it, I know what you mean though. Quest, thank you, Pokemon Quest. Yeah, Pokemon Quest. Yeah. I despise that game because I'm like, I looked at it, I'm like, why are people so crazy about this game? Like, I, <laughs> I saw people on Twitter that are like, oh, I got 15, I got three shinies in Pokemon Quest. I'm like, why do? <laughs> I, I, I couldn't you don't play it though like I get the block aesthetic is cool I wish you could literally move as the Pokemon if you could move as the Pokemon and control them I'd be like mm -hmm. I'd be all over that game because there was a good there's a really fun Pokemon spin-off game called Pokemon Rumble if I'm not mistaken it came out as like we wear at first and then mm -hmm. it's a full-on 3ds game it would have played like Rumble oh yeah, uh, I never played uh, Quest before. I just heard of it. Yep. I don't know if it was. It was mixed reviews, I guess. It was to say, like, some say it was good, some say it was bad. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. I tried it. I was like, nah, not 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 for me. Not for me. People are obsessing over it. I don't understand why. Um. <laughs> yeah, no. R R Pokemon Rumble is really good because then like you can like, if you if you haven't played like Pokemon Rumble, you can actually like move around top down and like control the Pokemon and like you get like two attacks per Pokemon mm -hmm. uh, it, was, it was pretty fun to play I, I, I enjoyed it a lot especially when it had like a full on 3ds like full release mm -hmm. yeah no, it, was, it was good and then like I don't know I like, 
what I'm hoping really like a lot for Splatoon. So Splatoon is, is huge in Japan for the people in chat who are unaware. It's, it's huge in Japan. Massive. And I'm really hoping we'll eventually get to the point where we'll have Splatoon spin-off games, a la Pokemon Mario. You know, mm -hmm. God, I want random Splatoon spin-off games so badly. It would like, be cool if, like, I mean, if the 3DS was still, I guess, still in, I guess, well, if they're still making games for it, uh, yeah. if they had, like, a Splatoon game for the 3DS. I mean, personally, like, that, I guess. like, they're talking about games to bring over. The, the, Nintendo's sort of reaching into, like, the mobile bin, because they have, like, mm -hmm. the new, like, anime the anime game coming out soon. It's, like, Dra Dragoria lore, or Lost in Dragoria, or something like that. Mm -hmm. Um... And if they want to touch on mobile games, give me Squid Jump or, or whatever the one from Splatoon 2, Splatoon 1 is. Mm -hmm. Like, I would adore having that on, on my phone. That would be pretty cool. Like, they could have the your own leaderboards and stuff like that, worldwide leaderboards, and see who's the, who's the best of it in that. Yep. I, 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 I would love that as a mode. But, I think... Uh... I think all, we're all set for for uh, for time here. Hey man, thank you for coming on the stream. Hey, no problem. Anytime. Uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed playing Splatoon. You know, and all that. So. No, it was good. Yeah, you you enjoyed playing the uh, the original Splatoon again. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> this was actually pretty fun. Right. Uh, and, and, uh, you want to plug your channel to uh to the people here? Uh sure. So you know uh it, YouTube channel. That SRB2 dude, Twitch channel, that SRB2 dude, Twitter, that SRB2 dude. <laughs> um, I don't think there's anything else different. So. But, you know, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I do. Uh, I'm basically a professional Splatoon player to, uh, by Ghost Gaming. Uh, I play a lot of tournaments. I do a lot of, you know, what's it called? Competitive gameplay. I do a lot of competitive analysis and stuff. I try to make people better at this game. Uh, for the greater good, and I am just on a huge mission of trying to grow this community or the competitive scene as big as I possibly can. So, yeah. if you guys enjoyed that, you know, that SRB2 dude is a good hub for competitive Splatoon. That's right, give him a follow, guys. He does some really good stuff. All right, we're gonna be back in three to five minutes. I'm gonna jump on over to Pokemon. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Uh, cool. be on your screen. Cool. Yeah, Thanks man. for having me, dude. See you later. See you later. Talk to you later. Woo, boys. All right, guys. My wonderful people in chat. All right. Oh.